Whoa. Holy shit, guys. We have a huge setup. So no 10, and we're no money. Don't. This is... <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, hmm, this is really good. Okay. Maybe C's does some sick balancing here with aces. That'd be so cool, actually. I mean... <laughs> uh... Come on, let's go, team. Pocket jacks all in C's. We can do this. I mean, not... Let's not, uh, let's not do something like have a nine set. That would be so ridiculous, actually. All right, so we'll see. Wow. What a flop. Holy shit. Nice fucking hands. Um, I think flatting is okay for Stun FX. Sees has like 40 big blind shoves with Broadways, so he's in that range. Um, it's also kind of nice for when Gaf Tackle squeezes or something that I have something strong to defend with. And of course, the fact that it's uh, Tuna FX open makes it a, li a little less appetizing to 3 bet tens. A, B, call B. Thank you, thank you. I see a button, I click it, sums up my poker strategy. <laughs> a flop is set. Let's stick with the set. Ooh. Rumukulus, uh oh. Turn six. This is, uh, if it's Rumukulus, turn six. And he ends up having sevens, you know? <laughs> Never mind. That's pretty nice, actually, because now I don't have to fear anything anymore, right? Their straights are still relatively confident. Alright guys, this is gonna be our revenge on Rumukulus. I'm not gonna lie, it'll feel really good one outing him. Here's hoping he has nines. <laughs> evil! Dr. Evil, thank you. I didn't spend 10 years at evil medicine school to be called Mr. Alright. Oh my god, I just had a sort of like mini panic attack thinking I bet 41k. Nice. Sick! Sick, sick, sick! Triple starting. Liquid's doing it. I just flopped the nuts. <laughs> I 
I'm just jamming. I'm gonna flat this. It's a pretty good flat anyway. The fact that the big blind has a little over 20 big blinds is good. Oh, nice. Um, uh, I think I want to call here. Um, I mean, it's only like one sixth of my stack. There's a bounty, and I think that he's gonna have under pairs to me sometimes, but mostly what I'm hoping for is a hand like King Jack suited, right? It's gonna be Ace King, etc., in there to balance. So funny. Um, all right, guys. I feel like my hands are tight. Ninety big blinds, huh? Two outs. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, boys and girls. 2625 and bounties, second and chips. What's up? What's good, homie? Let me see what my equity was there pre flop. 47% three way, wow. Pretty much flipping versus two. Crazy. 1125 as well. I didn't even see that from my C's. Who's chip leading this? What, what lord? Coco Yumbo. <laughs> Koko Yombo with a stack and a bounty builder, no way. Cuts their outs in half. Uh, whoa, nice. 1125, holy shit. Whoa, they had a ton of space as well. Holy shit, 37, 15 bounties. Wondering how many preflop mistakes I'm making now. This will definitely be one, but uh, this is not a defense, for, especially not for 2.2, but um, obvious bounty implications. One of the shortest stacks, that is actually by far the shortest stack at the table, so. I don't have that much two stacks in my range, so I'm just gonna check. I think a check is much scarier than a lead there, actually, which is funny. But the one of the advantages of leading is to get falls from hands like Jack-9, right? Even if you lead small, Part of it is to deny some of their equity. I definitely have combos that I want to check off flop with check raise turn all in. And over here we defend the three four of spades. Did your wife ever ask you to stop playing poker? Uh, no. Like, legit. Libraya. I've been to Libraya during Corona and I really didn't like it back then. I don't know. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, okay. I don't really, I don't really want to flat here because I feel that 
I'm gonna run into some problems with European if I do, but the problem now is that Pox could 3-bet me all in. 4-bet me all in. That's so tilting. Good reason would be that you could market yourself as the most successful Dutch online tournament player, but I'm not. Not even close. People want your shark scoop up so they can compare you with Julie. <laughs> no reason in particular, I was just interested in total run from day one. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. This is what you mean, because, you know, some people just doing something bad. All right, it's high he calls. Oh my God. All right, I'm just gonna jam. I just, it's so wide. Normally I would think, okay, this is pretty polarized so he can have uh, a lot of ace five and I wanna flat against that. This is so wide that I actually just wanna fucking equity deny and I'm just gonna pile it in. He's so wild. If he has a really big hand here, then I'm just fucked, and it's super sad. But like, I don't want to see a flop versus Jack Nine suited. Plus, he okay, it's fine. Like, I don't want, like, I didn't want to say too much about like flop strategy or whatever. But whatever, this guy's fucking blasting and having fun and tough to play. So who gives a shit? You know, give and take. All right, here we go. King Queen, King Jack suited. Hell, oh, fucking Jack-10 suited. All these things are in there, so... No significant implications in terms of bounties. Also interesting to uh, look up, right? If there's... Let's say I'm like 30 big blinds. Oh my days. Okay. I'm not doing well enough versus the initial raise for me to really want to go for it here. Also, because I have a wide range, I think it's good for them to trap here as well. So I'm not going to get... Well, bait it, we'll see, but bait it into shoving. Um, so as you can see, like, I might ISO him, probably not. But then still against Lina, I'm struggling, right? Both are so fucking good. Oh yeah, yeah, I hold a flat from the small. Whoa, I face king and uh, nice. Six plus away from the money. Oh, this is amazing. My man's battling. What a fucking guy. Definitely want sixes to window. Mm -hmm. Nice. I mean, I'd like to see Pucks doing well. Honestly, for how much he battles, I'd like to see him do well. I don't really feel comfortable getting three streets at this stage. This is amazing. I'll just get to bet really big a value from King Queen, Queen Jack, Jack 10. Come on, fuck off, man. Ridiculous, ridiculous bubble hand. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, Nit rolls me. Just snap it. Just snap it. What are we talking about? 
Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's... Man. Oh. 22 bigs. God fucking damn it. What a hand. Holy shit. It's up for like... Fucking 20 seconds or something. So what would be great... Is if he... I can definitely check a jack through. I think that'd be very smart actually here. Because if I check a jack through, then he might come up with some big bets on the river or something. You see? Like if I have a jack, this is great, right? <laughs> Wait, how did Milano fucking get his stack back? Jesus Christ! How many shorties have doubled? I missed this. Come on. Call. 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 Oh no. Bro. Look at this. I told you I had a bad feeling about this fucking bubble. Here we go. Queen or Jack, come on. Man, how long could it- This fucking guy runs so good! Dude, how long does the bubble last? Whoa. Holy shit, guys. We have a huge setup. So no 10, and we're in the money. Don't. This is... This is too much. This is too much. This is 9 or 10 all-ins in a row. Queen 10, chops, versus ace-queen. This is so stupid. If this hand just runs out in a normal fashion, then we are $3,000 .3 richer and we can play our hands. This is also, you know what's also sad about this? It's not just about cashing, right? One of the sad things that's happening here is my chances of winning the tournament are getting torpedoed. Like truly, that's what's happening here as well. Every time I'm on the big blinds, so now I'm 17 out of 18, I think next hand I'm gonna be like 15 out of 18. You know what the problem is though? If I, uh, I think that I'm gonna be the first one all in with the way that that's going. I guess it depends when the blinds go up. Oh, we have a four blind all in. Here we go again. A four. I mean, it's, it should be possible. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. The one guy is shorter than me. Oh my god. Here we go. Good luck. This is this is it. Good luck. Unbelievable. Gets the folds. Alright, keep it heads up, please. ISO gem would be even better, actually. I mean maybe not. Gives him more pairs. Jesus fucking Christ, I could break my fucking desk, man. This is the most frustrating bubble ever. Alright, well, we're not out yet, I guess. It's not great, though. What's the best card for us? I guess an ace, huh? Space is not bad. Quite better than a Queen Jack 9 or 7. Easy. Easy. 12 big blinds. Was never in doubt. Kept my cool throughout. Very happy. And short stack doubles again. <laughs> well, I doubled as well, so whatever. <laughs> This is a really bad river. This guy is so asex dense. Confidence vriendjes. Boost, boost, kissy fair. Teddy Ruxpin. Hey! Look at that. In the fucking money, motherfuckers. 
All right, where are we at? Blinds are up. I have nine bigs, 14 out of 17. Cover the small blinds. Rumoculus. A2 Brutus. All right, let's see if we can find a magic triple. Come on. 28 bigs, holy shit. That's so big. 28 bigs gets us in sixth. Oh, come on, keep it low. <sighs> Please, don't have something gross. Please don't have something gross. Please don't flat trap me with fucking queens. Perhaps can't have queens. Good. <laughs> oh, it feels good to get lucky versus that motherfucker. One more spot for $700 money jump, of course. That's not something we're gonna be too, too concerned about. All right, we just gotta jam this. How much else we can do here? I can't call and then fold. I just gotta jam and force out this equity. It's just too vulnerable, 15 out of bounty. Um, this guy is one of the very, very short stacks in the tournament. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Fuck. We'll see. Um, 15 seconds now. Base 9, isn't that insane? Check. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my heart's beating out of my chest. Wow. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> well, wouldn't you know? <laughs> Is this one his friends tell him, guys? Well, I mean, it's a flip preflop, so why are you mad you're losing it? Oh my god. We're gonna need some more uh, volume to actually get a... Wait, I can look at it here as well, right? <laughs> okay, six out of 10. Milanov has 10 bigs. The double last hand. Reb's all in. Holy shit. Second shortest stack. Milanov has 9 big blinds. Wow. It's 5.5k bounty. Flatterhuven. 6 8. Here we go. 7. <laughs> Boom, that's it. Flatterhuven is so sick, dude! All right, so we make day two amazing results. Wow, another big bounty builder final table. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oi, 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 what a session. Played very low table amounts. We are guaranteed 6K. Guaranteed 6K, first place, 90,000. Eight, nine people left, we're six out of nine. Anything can happen. Very, very, very tough play table. Lots of new talent as well. Good, good, good. These guys have ice in their veins, but hey, we have fire in our veins and we can do this. Tomorrow we make it. Tomorrow we have a final table. Holy shit. Oh, we have Ace King. All right then. Good luck.
Well, so two people busted, always nice. $3,400 money jump. Next money jumps 3k. Everybody has a big stack though. I think it's a relatively easy fold. Um, I don't cover them. It might seem pretty tight, but there's some other hands. There's On final tables, you're going to go to war with hands that you might not expect. And you're going to fold other hands that you also might not expect. But like the qualities of... St the quality uh, of a pair of sevens just goes down drastically. When you're on the final table, you're out of position, you don't cover somebody in bounties. The big blind covers both the opener and you, you know, it's a bit of a nightmare spot. There's a lot of uh, situations on final tables where you get to the turn or the river and you're like, what the fuck, you know, like, this is such an insanely hard spot. And usually those spots are prevented by uh, getting out preflop because they're just going to happen a lot. You see, this is like this. We want Rumakulus to win the spot in whatever way possible. Either he check raises all in, either he's check calling with a set of deuces, something, you know. We just want him uh, to win the spots because now, you see, like, if Ramastar, let's say, there are 17 big blinds like they are now and they lose the pot, and now we're betting blind versus blind, if they jam on my big blinds, now, if they lose that pot, they only have four big blinds left. Whereas before, you know, they could have like 40 bigs left. So, makes a big difference. A lot of solid runs. Yeah, it's been really fun that we've had uh, quite a few. Uh, the first five days, we pretty much lost everything. We, lost, we went minus 52,000. And then on 100k in a week, I went to plus 70. And we're at... Um, well, including this result, I would say like plus 47k, plus a 10k seat. Which counts, because otherwise we'll just buy it in, you know? Okay. This is a gem if it falls around to me. Otherwise, it's not. I, I know it's fine. It's fine, you know? I think that, let's say... Let's say I lose uh, three more blinds and I shove uh, King 10 suited and I get called by uh, Queens. And then, you know, a, lo a lot of people will wonder like, hey, shouldn't you have played at A6 or shouldn't have played? But it's not, uh, not a good way to think about it. Look at this. Then you get, uh, wow. Okay, this is fucking unreal. But all Brock has like aces or kings here, so. It's a top three hand, that's for sure. We need a bad beat here. And that would be it. That's really nice for me. Bang! 3k in the bag. What a crazy hunt. If this hunt happens in like $100 tournaments, you can easily just throw the queens away. It really speaks to the respect for the aggression of these players. Uh, very best thing. This is great. Let's fucking go. Eventually, you got your good spots. Oh. So sad. Oh. Don't open. Don't open. Don't three bet. All right, good luck team. Easy Katka. Be great if you can just fold uh, a hand like King 10 suited or Jack 10, you know. That's exactly what we're targeting here.
Is that steel on your spine that I smell? What's that? Wow. Alright, that was exciting. Holy shit. Legs, why you play so tight? I don't think so, buddy. Fire and blood. Fire and fucking blood. 37 big blinds. Bling blang blau. Let's win the tournament now. Let's call his eyes. Yes, sir, Joey. Snap calling if he shoves. He's gonna jam weaker aces as bluffs. Or hand like king queen. jam here scary as fuck there's obviously some downsides to jamming as well but Pretty fucking nice, isn't it? Hmm. That's not great. I cover him. Oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. Actually, save me. Save me six bigs. Wow. What a spot. I mean, obviously, I would have called this all in, so it saved me a lot of money. All right, five out of six, but uh, not that big of a difference between me and Marco and a little bit of Ramos there. Call again. I think he's gonna double barrel a lot. Oh man. Oh man, I want to call. I can't have queens, I can't have ace queen. Aces, can't have ace king. And I'm really tempted to call. Well, actually, I really want to call. Block ice queen, I block queens. I don't think he can value bet anything else than like two pair. I block so much of it. Um, yeah. Like if he has ace three, ace nine, I don't even think he's betting ace ten on the river. Ace three, ace nine, ace ten, ace four, ace five. Yeah. GG. Played my heart out. I really wanted to call there, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Too bad. I mean, I can already tell that I'm okay with the call because I feel very calm, so. 
as you can tell. That's too bad. Mm -mm -mm. Second in chips, cover everybody by a mile except for Haring buys as well as it went a hand. So the implications to win are huge. It's okay. Thanks guys for all the love. It was a great run. I mean, you know, the same, the same decisions make me win hands like Ace Deuce and King Five and all those other hands. So I um, went with my read. 